by saying, could you tell me about the relationship between Ethan and Jaden? Well, I'll start. Well, yeah. at first, they're uh, they're not best of friends. In fact, yeah. I don't really think they even know each other, really. Um, but as the the film unfolds, they uh, they find something in common, yeah. which is their passion for what they believe in, and they work together, which maybe they never thought would have happened. Ugh, couldn't have said about. Cheers. Because also at the beginning, like you said, the two, they weren't too sure about the other, but was that quite difficult to do when the two of you kind of get on so well offset? Yeah, but it's pretty quickly yeah. into the movie when they do yeah, they join yeah, yeah. forces and become best buds. Yeah, exactly. So it was easy, but... So do you think it really helped that you two kind of had uh, sort of knew each other before? Definitely. Did you meet on Horrid Henry? Yeah, Horrid we were. That's, yeah. that's yeah. I can generally three say it's one of my best buds. Three that? years. Yeah. Um, but that's the original why they wanted to make the movie, which is such an honour, obviously. Yeah. Um, so they make the movie just around our chemistry, how we like when we met oh, on Horrid Bond. Henry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Bond. Was really good. So I mean, so you two, do you reckon you know you could be really sort of good friends the rest of your lives? Definitely. Got, Definitely. We got already plans, are. Yeah. Got plans. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Found a true best friend for life. Sweet boy. So it must have been quite fun then being on set. I mean, it might, can't have felt much like work when you're kind of working so closely. Oh, no, with not, not at all. I mean, not just us, but everyone was just uh, so friendly and we had a right laugh. Ben, the director, very, very funny yeah. man. But you know what? When I'm doing um, anything really to, to do with my dancing, my music, my acting, it doesn't feel like work because I'm just having fun. It feels like because it's what I truly want to do when I'm older and now. So it just... It's something I have a passion for, so it doesn't really feel like work. Yeah. So, what's it like being on set with a kind of a cast that's predominantly made up of kind of sort of kids and teenagers and stuff like that? Yeah, it was great fun, like especially because we've got uh, uh, interests in common, mm. and uh, yeah, we became good friends with Dom, Kamal. Yeah. And because uh, we had, we spent so much time together, such as the rehearsals that we did for a bit more than a month before we even started filming. So by the time we got round to that, we were we were close as ever. Yeah, and. Normally, uh, the films I've done, uh, the previous films I've done, it's normally I've normally um, worked with adults. So it was great to work with kids around the same age as me and the same age group because it allowed me to express myself in a way I never had before. So, I feel yeah. I interviewed you a couple of years ago for Horry yeah, Henry, did. and you, you spoke about how much you enjoy being in the industry. And I was wondering, two years on, are you still having a great time? Is this still what you want to do? Even more. I mean, every taste I get, it just it reminds me why I love doing it. and. Uh, and yeah, I feel stronger about it, to be honest. Definitely something that I want to maintain. And if I ask for yourself, because obviously you dance and you're acting, is there one that you feel that you can, you're can going to progress further into in the future, or do you think that you can kind of combine the two from here on? I think I can combine the two. Um, even with my music as well, I can c combine all of those into one. So definitely, I want to be doing films for like a year and then maybe go back to my music, just keep on switching in between music, dancing and acting. So if you could kind of look 10 years into the future, you'd, would you both like to fit that you'd still be very much involved in the entertainment industry? And... Almost definitely, that's uh, that's the plan. Yeah, but, yeah, definitely. And Theo, you play uh, for the second time after Hoyt Henry, uh, if you don't mind me saying, a bit of a cheeky brat. No problem. <laughs> and I was wondering, uh, you know, how, how similar are you, to, are you to your characters, or are you quite, are you quite different off, off, off screen? Well, with Ethan, I'm probably, uh, yeah, there's a margin difference. Uh, I had to, I did... I have to think quite a lot about the character because there's a lot going on in his head and uh, I mean at, as the script unfolds you really find out that he's just trying to fit in like everyone else uh, but yeah he's, a, he's got his sweetheart and the audience really needs to relate to him to, to understand the movie really so it was, a, it was hard but I enjoyed it. So is that something that attracted you both to, to the film? Is that your characters have actually got quite a lot of depth to them because they've both got their own kind of issues with their parents yeah. and stuff? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's why I think it's different from all, you know, other films of the same sort of street dance genre uh, because you, you, you do find out more about their personal life and, uh, yeah. and the characters and their emotions yeah. and the heart behind it. Yeah, it's, uh, the film's definitely got an innocence that makes it uh, so magical. So when did you when did you learn to dance? Is that something you've been doing for for a long time now? Oh, you know what? I've been doing it since I was, I think, eight years old, around that time, and um, I just got inspired by uh, uh, the first time I watched You Got Served, um, the movie. I was just like, it was good whoa, film. good film, amazing film, um, and um, I just loved the moves, and it was quite funny actually because I was um the first time my mum and dad saw me practicing really was was um 
I was doing a headstand upside down on, on my head and um, I was watching TV upside down and they were thinking, why is he doing this? What is he doing? And then as I started to progress in my moves, they were like, oh, okay, now we get it. I was just used to just sit there upside down on my head watching TV for hours. As you do. Yeah, as you do, normally, <laughs> of course. But was it quite tiring making this film? Because obviously you do the dance moves and you kind of do this fantastic kind of choreographed dance and then they just go kind of cut, can you do that again please? Was that quite tiring that you kind of have to do the same thing? You know what, um, it was tiring but you cannot show that to the camera because it will pick it up on screen. And you, you know, you just have to get in character. You just have to be in that character all the time. I feel as for yourself, was it quite fun? Because I'm, I'm assuming, did you, I mean, did you know how to dance before this movie? And if not, how much sort of learning were you? Dancing is something that I've always admired and done, you know, uh, behind closed doors sort of thing. But uh, it was great. I mean, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do the movie. Um, but yeah, it was after school every day for more than a month, I think. I uh, just, uh, I learned a lot and we had such great choreographers and teachers, yeah. which uh, give, got given some credit. So were you able to see the kind of progress of the kind of cast members as everyone was kind of learning to dance throughout the kind of rehearsal? Yeah, definitely. Uh, fitness as well. Fitness, yeah. definitely as well. Um, but um, the rehearsal period, for me, it went quite quickly. It was um, finished before it even started because um, mm -hmm. most of the cast, they had previous dance experience with like tap, modern, ballet, so they knew how to dance, but never really street dance. But they picked up yeah, really quickly. Came from a theatre school back background, so. So yeah, I was really surprised with that. Because Phil, you just mentioned about um, sort of doing stuff after school. I was wondering for both of you, still at school, is it, is it quite fun or yes. quite difficult to kind of balance the two together? How's that sort of going for you both? I want to say difficult, but when we were filming, uh, we had a tutor on set of us, which was quite hard then, because, you know, obviously we'd be doing, doing a big scene, we were doing what we love, and then, straight back to the to the uh, to the van for some tutoring but you know it's got to be done it's got to get through it now i've only got a bit more than a year left so yeah um you know we still go to normal school yeah normal school uh, but yeah whenever we're filming we always have to have a tutor to make sure we get our hours done three, three, hours, three hours, a hours a day definitely yeah. Yeah. And does it still, do you still get that kind of buzz, that thrill when you see yourself up on the big screen, you know, in front of loads of people? I mean, do you reckon you'll ever get used to that? Yeah, I think I could get used to it one day, but um, I, I mean, it's just great. I just I just love it. Yeah. And uh, the the, uh, the feedback we've got is good. Oh, amazing feedback. It's been incredible. Everybody's loving the film. My mates, they've seen the trailer and they can't wait to watch it, you know? My final question, just wondering what you both got sort of planned for the sort of foreseeable future. Have you got anything lined up? Or? My plans would be definitely to work with Akka again soon and yeah. also I want to do some theatre. I like to think of that as my roots sort of thing, so that would be great to get back there. Uh, uh, you know, for me, uh, about a year ago I was signed to Warner Chapel for my debut album, so um, that's hopefully coming out this year, fingers crossed. And uh, I've got a few programmes lined up, so you'll definitely be seeing me on TV more. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Cheers, man. Thank, thank you. Thank you, thank you for talking to us. Cheers, thank you.